What's up guys, welcome back to another episode here in Autopot Action. Um, if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you're probably wondering where our videos have been for the past two months, because there's just been none. Um, we'll talk about that after, and we'll also talk about the future of this channel, because it's winter time, so I'm going to need to spice things up and do something different. I can't go diving all the time. But with that being said, I went diving about three months ago for my Pachi, strictly three prongs, so some simple action, and I just haven't put together a video until now. So enjoy the quick little Minpachi video, and we'll talk more after. Oh yeah, I go follow my Instagram, ihaahi808. Thank you. Yeah, so here we go. We're gonna start with the Minpachi clips. Um, just keep in mind, I went on this dive about three months ago, so I don't exactly remember what was going on in this dive. Um, yeah, we'll talk about my editing and the future of this channel in a little bit. But right now, let me get to Minpachi. Um, Minpachi, very simple. They're known as soldier fish, I think. The Hawaiian name for them is uu, I think. Um, but yeah, Minpachi is Japanese. That's the phrase that, or that's the name that a lot of people on the islands use. And they're delicious fried fish. They're my personal top two. They're right after Nobeta and then available is under them. So, you know, some people switch them, you know. It's like all personal preference. But on this dive, I remember kind of, I was battling eels. And eels are a big problem, especially when shooting Minpachi and a whole whole way. Oh, uh, you gotta fight the eels. So, the eels, the big Pui Pakas, which is a brown moray eel. They live in these Minpachi holes and the hole holes just because they know that there's a constant source of food. These Minpachi, they don't really move around. They're going to be in these holes no matter what. Like they're not going to, the whole school isn't going to go and move at one time. So the eel knows that it has a good food source. So they just stay in there. They get real big and fat and it can be a little intimidating when you know that there's an eel in the hole. And honestly, you just got to kind of just brave out the eel. Sometimes it gets too bad, you just bail. But on this dive, the eels weren't too bad, they were bothering me, but I was just keeping my hands far away from the hole. I didn't want to get bit. I've gotten bit once from sticking my hand in the hole. Don't do that. But yeah, on this clip you can see right here, Mimpachi comes out, eels holding on to it. Eel lets go, the eels were kind of calm this day. They were still going for the fish, see I'm quite excited. But yeah, the eels are going for the fish, but they weren't really super aggressive. When they get super aggressive, it's there's not really anything you can do. It's just the eels are gonna are gonna win every battle. Um, some people like to shoot the eels. I don't really like to shoot them. I've bent three prongs on the eels. I've broken three prongs on the eels. And, you know, I sometimes give them a poke, but really I just give up if the eels are too bad. But, that's just about all the talking I think I need to do. Um, if you guys have any questions about Minpachi, just shoot them in the comments below. I'll get around to answering them, but it's quite simple finding Minpachi. Um, the only hard part uh, to catching them is sometimes finding a good hole that holds them. And I would say almost any spot has been potchy. All you're looking for is a, it could be like a 10 by 10, 10 foot by 10 foot little crack in the reef that's gonna have thousands of potchy in it. So just make sure you scan really closely. Once you find a good hole, make a mental picture, use some natural landmarks so you don't forget it. And that's just about it. Shooting in potchy is super simple. It's one of my favorite fish to eat. Um, I only have one spot on the island that holds for me, and this is that spot. Um, and that holds plenty of Mimpachi that I know I can guarantee go out and catch, you know, 10, 12, just enough for me and my dad to eat. And I try not to take too much. I don't think too many people know this spot. Um, if you can recognize these rocks, I don't think you can, but if you do, please don't blast them in the comments. I like there still be fish, because as you can see, get choked Mimpachi in there. But yeah, I'll just turn the music up, let it go on for a little bit, and enjoy the rest of this montage.
I hope you guys enjoyed that Mimposture video. If you want to see a Mimposture cleaned and cooked, I think I have another video, so I'll link it up there. I don't remember which corner, but there should be another video on my channel about Mimpachi. So if you guys want to see it, you guys can go check it out. Um, but before I end up this video, I just want to talk about the future of this channel. So if you guys don't know, it's winter time on Oahu, which means the North Shore, which is my, you know, my main diving grounds. It's just, there's just waves. There's big waves. So I can't really go diving and I'm not really going to force dives. Um, so yeah, I can't really do as much diving videos, but there are still a bunch of other things I can do. Um, I'm at Kiki Shore Break pretty much every day. The waves are good. So if you guys want to see some Shore Break vlogs, just let me know. I put up a poll on my channel the other day and I got a bunch of votes for Shore Break vlogs, any other kind of vlogs, and diving. So the majority of you guys still want to see diving, so I'll try to keep on putting diving videos out. I think I have two more dives in the in the storage bank, so we'll try to get those up in the upcoming weeks. I got a new gun. We'll talk about that too. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to use it, but yeah, that's just about it. If you guys have any other ideas of what you guys want to see on the channel, just let me know in the comments because I could use your guys' input so I don't go missing in action for two months again. But yeah, we're gonna get back on the every day or not every day, every week videos, and that's just about it for this one. So if you guys are still watching, thank you so much for watching till the end. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't and drop a thumbs up on this video. And stay tuned for more because there should be something coming out next week. I don't know, whatever you guys say, if you guys want shore break or diving or I don't, something new, something different, um, just let me know and I'll try to work on it. So, yeah, shoot!